the next topic is the filter characteristics ideal filter characteristics we will observe that the ideal filter characteristics will be given as Generally, the ideal filter means where it has the ideal characteristics that it should be present for a particular cutoff frequency. The it should have the sharp cutoff frequencies. At the sharp cutoff frequencies, all the frequencies should be passed, and beyond this particular uh, cutoff frequencies, all the frequencies should be attenuated. That is below the sharp cutoff frequencies, all the frequencies will be passed, and above the sharp cutoff frequencies, all the frequencies will be attenuated. In case of the low pass filter, this happens. In case of high pass, high pass filter, the reverse action will take place. Then the phase spectrum will always should be as a linear spectrum. Therefore, generally these ideal filters can be divided into the four types as ideal low pass filter, ideal high pass filter, ideal band pass filters and ideal band rejection filters. In the ideal low pass filter, which allows the transmission of only the low frequency components and stops all the other higher frequency components that is the mod of h of omega is equal to minus omega c to plus omega c which amplitude as one that means for this particular frequency that is minus omega c to plus omega c those frequencies will be passed and beyond this omega c all the frequencies will be stopped that is simply called as a low pass filter below the omega c all frequencies being being passed means all the low frequencies will be passed and above the omega c all the high frequencies will be attenuated that's uh, it being stopped next one is and the linear phase spectrum which appears as theta of omega which uh, for the positive omega it will be the negative for the negative omega it will be the positive it's a linear curve passing through the origin that theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td next one therefore the h of a mod of h of omega will be written as will be written as one for minus omega c less than or equal to omega less than or equal to omega c and it is equal to zero otherwise and the theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td therefore this uh, is the mathematical equations for the magnitude and the phase of a low pass filter coming to the ideal high pass filter if, which allows the transmission of all the high frequency components and stops all the freq all the low frequency components that will be illustrated by this particular diagram that mod of h of omega will be equal to 0 between minus omega c to will be 0 between the minus omega c to plus omega c plus omega c like that and above the omega c all the frequency components will be said to be 1 that means it will passes all the high frequency components and it will attenuate the corresponding low frequency components and the linear phase spectrum is same as this that is theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td like that Next, coming to the equations of this particular high pass filter, that's mod of h of omega is equal to 0 for minus omega c less than omega less than omega c and it is equal to 1 otherwise and the theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td and the ideal band pass filter which allows the transmission of a particular band of frequencies components and stops all the other frequency components. That means here we are selecting that band as the omega c1 to the omega c, it will, it will be it will be constant for a particular band a particular band for that particular band it will be the one hence uh, all the frequencies in that particular band will be will be passed and beyond that particular band the amplitude is zero therefore it's a, all the frequencies in the beyond that particular band will be stopped or attenuated that's called as the which passes a particular band of frequency this is called as a band pass filter it is an ideal filter as it has a sharp cut of frequencies next similarly and it's theta of omega will be the same which is the linear phase spectrum minus omega into td like that and the expression for that uh, the mod of h of omega is equal to one for omega c1 less than mod omega less than omega c2 in that particular band only it will be one otherwise it is been said to be zero and the theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td and the ideal band rejection filter characteristics which rejects the transmission of only a particular band of frequencies and passes all the other frequency components which rejects the components between the omega c1 to omega c2 and it will be passed all the other frequency components from omega c2 to omega 1 like that 
Next, next when we see the characters, the mathematical expressions for this uh, ideal band rejection filter, uh, that mod of h of omega is equal to 0 for omega c1 to omega c2 and it is equal to 1 otherwise. And theta of omega is equal to minus omega td. And this is the expressions for the magnitude and the phase spectrum of the ideal band rejection filters. Next coming to the uh, another filter called as the all pass filter where it allows all the frequency components from minus omega c2 plus o, from minus infinity to plus infinity all the frequencies will be passed which is the theta of omega will, will be maintained the same spectrum. As it will pass us all the frequencies therefore it will be the constant value from minus infinity to plus infinity will be present as our magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum will be given as linear spectrum from during the positive it will be the negative and during the negative it will be the positive that is the spectrums and the equations will be same that mod of h of omega is equal to 1 for all the frequencies and the theta of omega is equal to minus omega into td. Next topic will be the signal bandwidth that the Generally, the spectral components of any signal which lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. For calculating the signal bandwidth, we will consider the finite energy concepts. That the spectral components approaches to the zero when it tends towards infinity case. Therefore, we neglect, we neglect the energy at the infinity cases and will consider the particular band of frequencies which consists of most of the signal energy that is about the 90 percentage of the signal energy and the band of frequency that contains of most of the signal energy is called as our bandwidth of the signal. Normally this band will be selected such that it contains most of our 95 percentage of the total energy. That means signals who's having the lesser energy at, any, at omega is equal to infinity neglect that 5 percentage of energy consider the 95 percentage of energy in that particular 95 percentage of energy what is the band of frequencies which covers that 95 percentage of energy that's bandwidth is equal to omega 2 by omega 1 which is nothing but our uh, signal bandwidth and this